My name is Sophia Wensman. I am a senior studying chemistry and earth-based science in the School of Education at the University of Michigan. This summer, I had the opportunity to work as a Jaseo intern at the University of Washington. The project was a collaboration between myself and doctors Bonnie Chang, Rolf Sunnerup, Calvin Morty, and Mark Warner. The subject of my project was the production of nitrous oxide in Hood Canal. Nitrous oxide is a powerful greenhouse gas with a warming potential molecule for molecule of approximately 300 times that of carbon dioxide. About a quarter of nitrous oxide emissions come from the world's oceans. Of that, 61% is from coastal regions. In areas of coastal upwelling, productivity is even higher as nutrients are brought to the surface. This production eventually sinks, resulting in high respiration rates at depth. Byproducts of respiration are oxidized by microbes to nitrous oxide through a process called nitrification. Additionally, in low oxygen environments, nitrous oxide production by nitrification is enhanced, and eventually, when oxygen is fully depleted, anaerobic microbes reduce nitrate to nitrous oxide during the oxidation of organic matter. This process is called denitrification. The location of our study was Hood Canal. It was chosen because it is a highly productive fjord with restricted circulation, which results in the development of hypoxia during a typical summer. These factors suggest that Hood Canal may be a significant source of nitrous oxide emission. The goals of my project were to determine the air-sea flux of nitrous oxide from Hood Canal and the processes that produce the nitrous oxide. I began my summer by going on a three-day research cruise to Hood Canal. We obtained CTD data and water samples from 15 different stations. After the cruise ended, I began analyzing the water samples we had collected. I began by working with Dr. Mark Warner in his laboratory using gas chromatography and electron capture detection. Through this process, I was able to quantify the concentration of nitrous oxide in the water samples taken during the cruise. I then worked at PMEL in Calvin Morty's lab with the help of Eric Weisgarber, who taught me how to use a Technicon Auto Analyzer, which separates the water by nutrient and uses a spectrometer to determine the concentration of those nutrients present in the water sample. Using the data collected from the nitrous oxide and nutrient water samples, we were able to determine that Hood Canal is indeed a source of nitrous oxide to the atmosphere and that nitrification is the primary process driving the production of nitrous oxide in Hood Canal. I'd like to thank all of my mentors for the support they have given me during my time at Jaseo. I've had an incredible experience in Seattle this summer and have enjoyed the work I've done tremendously.